She has achieved success, who has lived well, laughed often, and loved much, who has gained the respect of intelligent men and the love of little children, who filled her niche and accomplished her task, who has left the world better than she found it, whether by an improved poppy, a perfect form, or a rescued soul, who has never lacked appreciation of Earth's beauty or failed to express it, who has looked for the best in others and given the best she had, whose life was an inspiration, whose memory is a benediction. These words written by A.J. Stanley describe Dr. Susan Smith McKinney Stewart, a woman who for 26 years practiced medicine as the first African-American woman physician in the state of New York and the third in the nation. She was preceded by Rebecca J. Cole of the Women's Medical College in Philadelphia and Rebecca Lee of the New England Female Medical College. However, her career was the most illustrious of the three. In the next 30 minutes, we will explore the life of Dr. Susan Smith McKinney Stewart. We'll do this with the help of several people. William Sorrell, a historian who has done extensive research on her life. Joan Maynard, executive director of the Society of the Preservation of Weeksville. William McKinney, the great-grandson of Dr. Susan Smith McKinney Stewart. And Muriel Petioni of the Black Women's Medical Society, whose organization is named after Dr. Susan. Stay with us as we explore the true story of one woman whose life made a difference. Okay. 